Hello and welcome to another episode of the Duke Liberty Show. This is uh, a uh, a question that uh, got brought up today when I was uh, looking at some of the comments from the uh, AK video. And now my question to you is, is the AR, uh, is the age of the AR dead? Is it gone? Is it passed? Um, have we moved on um, from this style of AR that we have in front of us right here? The two things uh, that, I, that are required uh, on all of my ARs are um, the ability to put a carry handle on and bayonet lug. Um, two requirements I have for every AR. I will not own them if you can... Uh, not put those two things on because this is my favorite style um, of AR um, in this current um, configuration. Uh, this style, this is a Colt uh, AR M4, or sorry, A4 variant uh, that I picked up uh, last year. Um, and I, you know, you gotta have a Colt. Uh, I've got FNs, I've got the PSAs, uh, I've got a few other kinds, but man, you gotta have a Colt. Um, and you gotta have an older Colt. Um, that's important too. Uh, you got to look up the dates uh, for when those are, they kind of lose some luster later on, um, as far as I am uh, understand, uh, when, when it comes to quality. Um, so you've got to look at some of the older ones. Uh, and there's a, like a, in my opinion, there is a prime market um, where you can uh, hit, be, where you're not paying like a crazy amount for the older ones uh, that are just, because they're older, they're got a, a ton of value. Or you're not getting the super new ones, which have some, some quality issues. Um, so I think there's a sweet spot. Um, but my question is, is, uh, you know, where we are at now, it's like everybody makes ARs. Every big company produces ARs. Um, it's, it's like the, uh, uh, the go-to right now. Um, is that a problem? Is it dead? Is that ruining, um, some of the, the fun of, of shooting and rifles, uh, when everybody owns kind of the same thing? Um, or is it just because it's a great platform and it's what we like to use? Um, in my opinion, this is what I like to use. I prefer this uh, style way over the AK when it comes to things like that. I do appreciate the AK for what it is. Uh, but when it comes to prepping um, and practical use, the AR, uh, in my opinion, takes the cake. Um, especially looking at some of the different uh, standards that you have uh, coming in. This is a little bit older style. I understand that this limits you with... With some of the aesthetics when you talk about the um, um, the ability to put extra things on the rifle i understand that i get that this is for me this is just one of those old classic rifles um that i, I want because i i want it because of the way it looks uh i understand that it limits it you know like I, you could probably put a flashlight on this um and, and maybe a, a a vertical grip um right around here some people like to do that not on not on these bad boys for me i like the old school this is kind of like the Marine Corps boot camp kind of type style that I prefer um, uh, for my uh, like A4 variants or M16A2s uh, variants. This is just the style that I prefer when it comes to that kind of stuff. I think this is a good gun. I've shot it. It's very accurate. Um, I took it out for a couple hundred yards and uh, sighted it in and had a great time with it. Uh, had some nostalgia, uh, obviously, but... Um, Overall, very fun rifle to shoot. I also have the PSA version of this. It's like the exact same thing. PSA used to do them for like six and seven, and now they're like a solid eight. Um, right now, they, they're they're nothing below eight. Uh, they do okay on the aftermarket, but um, I'll be honest. When I kind of shot both of them, if you get the PSA with the FN barrel... Um, I had a hard time, to be honest, telling a huge difference between the two. Um, the barrel is one of the largest components that really matter uh, when you're talking about a rifle like this. Obviously, I like the ballistics that I get out of out of a full 20-inch uh, barrel um, for 5.56. Five, um, so this is this is my option when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't mind the longer barrel. I understand that some people like a lot shorter ARs, and that's fine. It all depends on you know what you're doing and why you're doing and and what the overall purpose of it is but i can run this just fine um obviously the you know only thing i really want to add to this and i just don't have it because it's the way it's stored um is a sling um but that's the only pretty much thing i'd, I'd add to this maybe a, a flashlight tape to the end at best 
Um, but this is one of my favorite rifles. I, obviously, this is my old school uh, rifle. But I guess the question is, is have we done too much? Is it too far? Um, you know, have is the is the AR platform oversaturated? Um, is that age just too inundated with stuff, or is it is it the golden era? Is this the fun times where you can get whatever you need for your AR because it's so it's so big and so much fun? Um, and people, the the industry is so large now that everybody's making stuff, which makes it cheaper, which makes more availability, which makes the the prices drive down. Um, you know, so that's where does where do you stand in this? Um, and what is your uh, favorite AR uh, that you like to have? So thanks for watching. This is just a nice little short video, and uh, tune in again next time. Thank you.